more of that. Yes, that was great. They should it's bring a, it back. I would love that. Mm. They really should. It's, it's always fun to watch. Um, do you think anyone's going to be doing that in the backyard today now that we've got some fresh snow here? No, I thought you were doing it tomorrow, skiing. But I, I don't know. I mean, look. I will be barely putting skis on my body. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it, it'll be next week. Um, You'll get to that yeah, for another. It's interesting period. watching that. Like, I've obviously never tried to do anything like that, and it's amazing. But you're trying to assess, like, what the hardest stuff when they did the flip we were like whoa right. the flip yeah. like yeah, you have no momentum at all how are you doing that um all right we've got some snow out there still going on it's been a all-day event the snowfall reports have not been crazy so far i think you know mostly we've been looking at moderate to light bands of precipitation either that or people are slow calling in our snowfall amounts pretty much down over southern maine watch this though over the next few hours sometimes when a system is pretty much done and there's not much moisture left, we can get a little freezing drizzle on the back end, but we uh, ended as rain showers here. And then snow starting to break some bigger holes in that precipitation shield back to Rangeley. Waterville still snowing at 32, 33 in Bangor. And uh, some best, the best bands are up towards Millinocket where it's 28, 29 degrees. So we have several more hours of snow yet to go. As I mentioned, I think this is an hour too fast, just based on the radar trends. Probably takes until seven to clear this out of here. Tonight is chilly, but not overly frigid. I would recommend I checked out my driveway and it was just that slushy watery stuff if you can get that out of there I would because it's gonna dip below freezing tonight and it gets pretty hard to move that after that tomorrow we're cloudy temperatures are between 32 and 35 isolated flurry but most of us are dry and then we're cloudy on Sunday too we wait until Sunday night for our next storm system um, and that is what we're going to talk about now so it, it remains difficult. I, I, I hate when the models go in opposite directions. So the European model with the latest run actually got stronger and more amplified. The GFS remains suppressed. It's not actually a huge difference, but it is for us. So down in Massachusetts, this is an easier forecast than it is here because hit, no hit. But you don't want to hear about the complaining here. You just want to hear, what do you think? I would trend towards the euro, and that's what we're going to do here at this point, where I think the euro tends to do better in these scenarios, especially when it plays into the bias of the euro being more amped up, the GFS being more suppressed. I think this all makes sense. So three to six inches of snow Sunday night into Monday morning. Now, of course, as we continue to watch that track, there may be adjustments in where this line goes, and that's what it's going to come down to. What's the northern extent of the storm? I feel more confident for southern Maine than I do for down east Maine, for example. But uh, I think it's a good opening bid for Sunday night. Monday, so Monday morning's commute could be fairly tough. Gets very cold behind that. That's the other thing I was thinking about, guys, when I was moving that slush off my driveway. It's like, um, then it's going to snow, then it's going to be really cold. So. <clears throat> You don't want to give up that kind of ground if you can avoid it in late January. Um, we do moderate for Thursday and Friday of next week, but we go through a kind of a frigid period for a couple of days. So keep stay with us on this Sunday storm because I made an opening bid because we have to. It's Friday. Um, but it doesn't feel good to have one model have almost nothing and the other have six. So Yeah. So tune in will. this weekend. Yes, I would I would stay with us on that yeah. for sure. Jason will have you covered. Mm -hmm. All right, Keith, thank you.